Welcome to the talk. My name is Yong Li. I'm a postdoctoral researcher in South China University of Technology. We created a DSL called a hard mesh for mesh processing. This is a joint work with Xu Bikamiao from Adobe Research, Kenan Crane from CMU, Eric Jacobson from University of Toronto and Adobe Research, and my PhD advisor, Yotam Gingold from George Mason University. Mesh processing algorithms are often communicated via concise mathematical notation. However, conversion of notation into working code remains a time-consuming and error-prone process. A hard mesh was designed to resemble notation commonly used in visual and geometric computing, automating the process of converting notation into code. Here is the outline of my talk. There are many data structures available for meshes. Typical representations include half-edge, quarter-edge, and winged edge. Many mesh processing libraries have been proposed over the years, such as Seagull, OpenMesh, and LibIGL. However, a design goal for a hard mesh is to generate a code with minimal dependencies, allowing authors to write portable mesh processing expressions that compile to any supported backend. Several new DSLs have been proposed for mesh processing, such as Mesh Tachi and PDE solvers, such as Phoenix, in recent years. A hard mesh utilizes sparse matrices and looks like the formula in papers. A variety of programming languages have been proposed with varying emphasis on syntax resembling conventional mathematical notation. We chose to build a hard mesh on a hard LA since its syntax is closer to conventional notation than the others, and it's runtime agnostic. We conducted a formative study to understand how the computer graphics community communicates mesh expressions, which are expressions involving the discrete elements of a mesh. This figure shows several mesh expressions from C-graph papers, 2019 to 2022. Common terminology often has ambiguous or overloaded meaning. Here are examples that we found. When we model a triangle as V and F, it might mean V is a vertex set and F is a face set. Meanwhile, it can also be interpreted as V is a matrix of vertex positions and F is a matrix of vertex indices. We use the element set interpretation, though our programming interface can take the pair of matrices as input. Similarly, the one ring of a vertex V might refer only to neighboring vertices, or it might mean all mesh elements inside on V, including both edges and triangles. In a hard mesh, we need to let users flexibly choose or define neighborhoods. Mesh representation is a low-level representation we use. A hard mesh aims to be runtime agnostic. Boundary meshes have minimal requirements on the runtime since they are sparse matrices. Higher-level mesh abstractions like element sets and neighborhoods can be based on boundary matrices, as we will see. The programming model in a hard mesh can be demonstrated by the expression for discrete Gaussian curvature on a triangle mesh. For each vertex, the Gaussian curvature can be defined as the angle defect. The following is a complete implementation in a hard mesh. The first of the three lines import functions from built-in support. The mesh connectivity module provides access to the element sets and boundary matrices of a mesh. The neighborhoods module is initialized with the input mesh M declared on line 5. Line 6 accesses the element sets of M, and line 7 declares a second input parameter X of per vertex positions. Line 9 is a direct translation of the equation. It makes use of the neighborhood function faces, which maps a vertex in M to the set of incident faces. Line 9 defines the function k that it takes a mesh vertex as a parameter. Line 11 defines the incident angle, which wasn't specified in the equation. The theta function takes its parameters as subscripts. Its parameters are defined as members of V and F. The compiler also verifies that the theta's parameters belong to these specific element sets of M. The theta function makes use of another neighborhood function, neighbor vertices in face, which returns the next two vertices in F in counterclockwise order. 
The following C++ code uses the module generated by a hard mesh to compute the curvature for each vertex. Please check our paper for more details. We use Hardland to represent the extended version of a hard LA with new language features. A hard mesh contains a built-in mesh connectivity package and many neighborhood functions. The layered architecture supports user return mesh expressions. Much of our hard mesh is written in Hardland itself. This allows users to write and share their own neighborhood and stencil functions as needed by accessing the cellular set or boundary matrix layers of our hard mesh. This also facilitates adding support for additional backend languages. The core mesh data structure in our hard mesh consists of boundary matrices and element sets. The built in mesh connectivity module provides access to a mesh's element sets boundary matrices, and functions for creating indicator vectors from an element set, and vice versa. Although element sets are all encoded as sets of integers, element sets of different dimensions are distinct incompatible types in a hard mesh. Moreover, a hard mesh tracks which mesh an element set originated from. We use the term cellular set to simply mean any collection of mesh elements or possibly heterogeneous types. For example, a single cellular set might contain vertices and faces. The following hardline code defines the cellular set operations for polygonal mesh. Line 5 to line 7 shows the low-level representations these basic operations make use of. We define several overloading functions, such as vertices, edges, and faces. We substantially enhanced the hardline with functionality to support a variety of practical mesh processing applications. We extended hardline with support for taking first and second derivatives of our expressions. See the paper for other enhancements. We characterize the design space of mesh processing DSLs, including ever cement mesh touching in graphics, to motivate our hard mesh and understand its unique set of attributes. The diagram contains attributes such as high performance, whether neighborhood sets must be defined across two languages, whether user-defined neighborhood sets can be composed easily, whether the language supports a global matrix assembly, and whether the syntax resembles a conventional mathematical notation. As this diagram shows, mesh processing DSLs occupy different points in the design space. We implemented our hard mesh as a fork of our hard LA, inheriting the core compiler infrastructure for Hardland. This already provides the sparse matrix support for boundary matrices. Our hard mesh heavily relies on set operations when collecting neighbor and stencil elements. Set support is implemented as a sorted STD vector with STL set operations for efficiency. Our hard mesh employs a reverse mode automatic differentiation from the autodiff library to obtain derivatives. Derivative support is currently only implemented in the C backend. Our point cloud mesh construction defines edge connectivity based on radius or k nearest neighbors. We do this efficiently with the KD tree built using the NanoFlan library. To evaluate our hard mesh, we implemented a variety of geometry processing techniques across different representations and verified the correctness of the generated code by comparing the output to reference implementations. The examples cover different mesh types and various neighborhoods. This example demonstrates point cloud normals. This example demonstrates discrete curvature for triangle meshes. For this example, we implemented a variety of energies to demonstrate tetrahedral mesh neighborhoods and automatic differentiation. In future, we intend to support topology modifications, generate high-performance code, add more backends, and optimize the code generation process. In conclusion, our mesh resembles notation commonly used in visual and geometric computing. The layered design enables the natural expression of algorithms while minimizing demands on our code generation backend. Our hard mesh allows you to easily try different mesh processing algorithms. Thank you for listening. Please try our tool.